School officials say after the fight, John Aaron's principal was taken away from the school in an ambulance. While he's expected to be okay, some parents say they're nervous about bringing their kids to school here. While trying to break up a fight at around 7 a.m., the school says the principal landed on his back and was sent to the hospital to be x-rayed. A school resource officer was on scene. No one else was hurt. Since school started last month, John Aritz says they've been dealing with an uptick in fights. You may remember back in May, the school was put on lockdown following a large fight. 13 kids were taken into custody. One had a gun. The school says they're working to get the recent fights from this school year under control. Parents are still concerned. I'm nervous because if something happened to my daughter, you know, my cousin, what's going to happen? You think you think I'm not going to use somebody can get hurt. She get in a fight with somebody. Uh, they could bring anything into school. They don't have nobody swiping them down or nothing. They, they just come to school. They could bring a gun. They could bring a knife. They can bring anything. We uh, had additional administrators, additional staff. Uh, at the school to assist the principal and to assist teachers in managing some of some of those uh, activities and we did and we did see two days without any fights which we were happy to see and unfortunately had the event uh, this morning. JPSO says no charges are expected reporting on the West Bank. I'm Aubrey Killian WDSU News.